Hello, Facebook and YouTube friends. Steve Toko here with another edition of Funny Gig Stories. This one goes back to New Year's Eve of 1984. Um, I was in a very, very bad wedding band back then, and we were playing at a very stuffy country club for a New Year's Eve party, 1984, going into 1985. And the guitar player for the band smartly took the night off. <laughs> so we had to find a fill-in guitar player. And it just so happens, one of my dear friends uh, was in town. He had recently moved to L.A., and he came back for the holidays, so I convinced him to play guitar and fill in for this band. And I don't know how he forgave me or if he has forgiven me for this sin of having him fill in because this was a bad gig. Um, one of the things that made this band so weird was the keyboard player. He was, he was a great musician and he had amazing technical ability and great musical knowledge. He was just really schmaltzy. He's kind of like stuck in the 1930s. And everything he played had that sort of 1930s sound, which is cool, but not, not in 1984 when you're playing like modern music. Anyway, modern for 1984. The other thing that made it weird was this keyboard player played trombone at the same time. He had a, a stand where he put his trombone here and he played trombone with his right hand and keyboards with his left simultaneously. Like, and he would do these crazy chord progressions like out of the 1930s, very thick, very schmaltzy. And it, he played that way on every song. But anyway, that, that's one thing that sort of turned, uh, turned your ear in, in terms of the oddity of this band. So... We are setting up for this New Year's Eve gig, and the keyboard player realizes his rig is not working. The keyboard is broken. And the bartender is nearby, and he hears us while we're setting up. And he walks over and says, hey, my son has a keyboard he got for Christmas. I only live a couple miles. Do you want me to go get it and bring it back? And sure, you know, better than nothing. So he comes back with this tiny little keyboard for a child. It was like two octaves only, a bunch of little buttons. You got to have these tiny little fingers to operate. Uh, it didn't even run on electricity. It ran on batteries. So better than nothing. So we proceed to do the gig with this little keyboard. Uh, so we played a song and after the song, we did the obligatory welcome to the, uh, audience, a bunch of 85-year-old country club members. And we do the, oh, you know, welcome, and it's New Year's Eve 1984, looking forward to having fun and filling the dance floor all night. As we finish, the manager of the country club came walking up very stoically, as if um, he was like a, a mortician or something. And he walks up and he looks and he says, gentlemen, this is a mature audience. There's no need to speak with our guests and members. Just play your music. And he walked away. <laughs> sort of set the mood for the whole night. So we're getting through this night with this tiny little keyboard that sounded so, like a child's keyboard. And invariably, because the buttons were so small, every time the keyboard player would change patches, something weird would come out. In some cases, he'd hit the little built-in drum machine. So we're in the middle of a song, and all of a sudden, <laughs> this kind of thing was happening all night. It was terrible. Not that it mattered, because nobody listened to the band, and nobody danced. So uh, it, was, it was a washout. And by the time it was 11 o'clock on New Year's Eve, the place was empty. But the manager, being such a warm, kind individual, insisted that we finish the night, so we played Old Lang Syne at midnight for nobody. The place was empty. So... <laughs> anyway, finished up. Me and my friend loaded the car, 
supposed to be a one hour drive home, turned out to be three hours because it coincided with a terrible ice storm. So we drove home completely dejected and defeated and depressed because this gig was so bad. And uh, I guess the mood would be we were in a somnolent torpor. And that, that's how we rang in 1985. Uh, so anyway, that's my gig story. Hope it wasn't too boring. I'll do another one sometime soon. If you liked it, mention it in the comments section below. And we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.